Hello everyone, welcome to day two of juggling in self-isolation or in quarantine. Uh, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all doing okay. So yesterday we covered the basic juggle, this one. Um, depending on how you're doing with that, I would say uh, keep practicing. Ideally, you want to get it to a point of being able to do it consistently without thinking about it as your it's a, it's a, your baseline foundational pattern. So this might take, you know, days to weeks. Uh, it, it's, it depends on how much you practice, but I would say for sure practice that again. Uh, and as the lessons go on, practice the previous lessons uh, as well, not just what um, I'm doing in uh, different for the daily videos. Anyway, so today we're going to learn a trick called 423, uh, which is a site swap name, which I won't explain yet because uh, it's not important, but this is the trick. So you can also call it one up, one across, one up, one across, one up, one across, one up, one across, like this. So let's break it down. First step, start with one ball as usual. Uh, we're going to learn the throw, the, the basic uh, up throw. So yesterday we practiced this throw, which was across. And now we want to just go up. So from the same hand, you're going to throw in a column like this. And then on the other side, exactly the same. So do that till you're comfortable with it. Uh, it shouldn't take too long for most of you. And then we're going to do two balls. So. See, I'm holding both balls in the same hand. Uh, so hold as I showed yesterday, so you can release one ball at a time. And what you're going to do, first, very first step is throwing up and catch. Throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. All right, when that's easy, when you get used to it, you're going to throw up and then before it comes down, as it's reached its peak and it's just coming down is when you're going to throw the next ball. So you're going to free up the hand and this ball is going to go across. So you've got this one that goes up, coming down, throw that one across. So like this, up, across. Show you again, throwing one up, across. Then you're going to do exactly the same on the other hand. So one up, one across. One up, one across, like this. So do that a load of times um, and really try to get it right with the two balls because then with the three balls it will come uh, a lot easier. So now you've got the three, uh, exactly what we did in step two to start with. So we're going to go one up, one across and you can guess what's going to happen next. As you're throwing the ball across, it's going to reach its peak over here as it starts to descend is when you're going to throw this one up, free up the hand to catch this one uh, and repeat the pattern. So one up, one across, throw up like that. So one up, one across, throwing up like that. And then of course, well, do from the other side first, one up, one across, one up like that. And then try to keep going a little bit. So. One up, one across, one up, one across, one up, one across, one up, one across. And you can see for now that my columns are quite clearly on the, the outside and I'm throwing the one across on the inside. So uh, by that I mean this is out here and that's there and you know they don't cross over each other. It's very clear the trajectory of each ball. Um, and yeah, um, that just making sure you do that will hopefully make the pattern a bit more clear. Um, of course, there are variations you can do, uh, you know, where you throw over the top. <coughs> Whoops. So where you throw over the top. I don't know. There's like a lot of things which uh, I'm, I'll cover in tomorrow's or future videos. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think, how you're getting on, if you're enjoying these videos or if you have any requests. I know it's only day two but I've got a lot to come uh, and I'm sure we've all got a lot of time on our hands to practice. So anyway, see you guys tomorrow and goodbye.